What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Primer ready to deliver you our Week 9 battle for the NPBA. This week, we are taking on Gabby and the Welsh Drudagons. As you can see, the challenge was previously sent. So here we are with her team. Let me pull out my notebook so that I can uh, mark off what she brought and see what we got to do here. Let me actually put the sound on a little bit. Unmute the sounds. There we go. Ah, uh, there. There's Bree. She just came over to visit. And she wanted to watch me battle. So, alright. So, let's mark off what she got. She did not bring the Mega Garchomp, so I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, I did bring, like... Pretty sure I brought ice coverage on a good portion of my team. You have Ice Beam, Ice Beam, uh, and Ice Punch. That's fine. That'll be fine. Not a big deal. I can still hit the Hydreigon with it. But she brought the Gengar, she brought the Porygon 2, she brought the Snorlax, which is kind of annoying. She brought the Blastoise. She brought the Rapidash. She brought the Hydreigon. So... Give the old good luck, have fun, and we'll get this party started. Right away. All right. So let's 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 think about this for a second here. Okay. So. All right. Potential scenarios here. What can I see her potential lead being? I could see. I could see potential Scarf Gengar or Hydreigon leading. I could also see maybe potential. Uh, potential Porygon two lead. She does have her spinner in Blastoise, so I have to be careful about when I put my rocks up. That could also be a potential lead as well, it's a Blastoise. It's kind of annoying. Um, right there. I think my safest bet, since she doesn't have any ground types, my safest bet is to go out and to lead with Loxus. And that's probably my best bet. Just because uh, with the scarf, I'm faster than her entire team. I believe I act. Yeah, I believe I put enough speed investment. Yeah, I put enough speed investment that I outspeed Gengar. So, or yeah, I outspeed Gengar, and that is her fastest mod that she brought. So we should be fine. So. She carefully picks her lead, so I'm gonna put Loxus up in my calcs over here, and uh, let's let's do this. So basically, uh, it doesn't really matter differential-wise at this point. Um, all I have to do is win this match, and I will come out as number one in the league overall because. The only reason why uh, Seb and the Carlisle Captains were ahead of us at this point was by record. They had one extra win over us. Uh, Differential-wise, we've always been ahead of them. We're, we're sitting right now, I believe, at a plus 10 differential, I believe. Plus 10 or plus 13, something. I think it's plus 10 right now. Um, and then he was sitting at a plus 9 and then lost this week. So, or, I don't remember exact numbers off the top of my head, but regardless of that, we had a higher differential than him, so... Since he lost, all we have to do is win this game. I see you. It's all we me. have. To... I see you. All right, so she leads with the Porygon two, so that's fine. Can you? What? Wait, what are you? What are you? What are you saying is you? The unicorn. What unicorn? The unicorn. Oh, rapid hash. Before we go on to... Alright, so if... She is fully physically defensive. Let's put that in there. She's fully physically defensive. Why do I have two different screens going? These are my damage counts. 
Uh, it helps me make the best possible move I can throughout the battle. Um, hmm. Now I can't see what this thing would want to do to me. I can't see what this thing would want to do to me, so... Because can't if she's talking to you, she can't do with me. She could toxic me, which would be kind of annoying. But I can't really see what this thing would want to do to me. A try attack, even. Let's, let's see what would a try attack do to me. Try attack. Try attack would only do about 27 to 32 percent. I think my safest play is just a bolt switch. So she's not gonna switch. All right. So that does 21 percent. That's about right for being physically defensive. So that's most likely what she is. Um, I think, let me see what Hariyama takes from a try attack. Hariyama takes absolutely nothing. I'm gonna go out into Yokozuna. Shadow Ball, that does nothing. Yum. Swallowed. Alright, I'm actually free to just click, no, I'm gonna go, she might predict the fake out. Try to go out into Gengar to get some form of momentum. I'm gonna click Knock Off because I get nothing. I lose nothing by clicking Knock Off because she didn't bring her Mega. So if she switches, anything that comes in loses its item. If she stays in, this thing loses its Eviolite and becomes a lot less threatening. And at that point, she can't get a free switch into Gengar because if she switches Gengar in right here, Gengar pretty much dies, 100%. Uh, let me let me look at that really quick. I'm 90% positive. Say it's an OU Life Orb Attacker. Yeah, Knockoff would blow it out of the water. Knockoff does 128 min. So, yeah, Gengar would die. But uh, let me let me put Porygon 2 back up. Porygon 2. Hold. Max. Okay. Knockoff will do about 15 to 18% to this thing. And then, without Eviolite. Close combat would do 84 to 99 percent. So even if it tried to recover stall, there's no way she would be able to pull it off. So let's put the back on there. There we go. So let's see what we can do here. I'm feeling good about this. This is a really good start for us. That shadow ball on her part really didn't further anything. I don't know if she was predicting. Uh, she even predicting my going for Shadow Ball. Maybe this is the most damaging move that she would have had on her move set for me. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Yokozuna's, Yokozuna's here. Yokozuna's ready. Let her take her time. It just takes her a little while. It, it should take a little while. It's, it's, it's a tough move to make, because Yokozuna, that's, that's the cool, that's the reason I kind of picked up Hariyama, is because Hariyama carries a lot of potential coverage moves that it can basically... Oh, she just lets me take the knockoff on her. Okay, that's perfect. About 21%. She's probably about mixed defensive. She actually does have the... Uh, it's like, that's fine. But we actually... We naturally out, we outsped her. We did outspeed her. So she... We put... Ha ha ha! Yes! Oh, speed investment for the win. I, didn't, I forgot we put speed investment in this thing to speed creep the Porygon, too. That's great. Alright, so now, no matter what, this thing dies to a close combat. Oh, like, this thing dies to close combat. Yeah, for sure. So I am just gonna go for the close combat. And then, boom. Porygon 2 gets taken out by Yokozuna, and that is kill number, you know, I'm gonna have to swap here because I feel like this is a free switch into Hydreigon or uh, Gengar, one of the two. She's tr she's trying to figure out my sets. Yeah, she's figured out that I'm a salt fest. Yeah, okay, that's fine. At least now she at least she knows I'm salt fest. She figured it out. I'm just happy that in Yokozuna's debut, like three turns into the matchup, 
he gets a kill, which is fantastic, in my opinion. I think that kind of just shows his worth. We're right there. All we have to do is win. Differential doesn't matter, because we actually have the highest differential in the league on top of that anyway. But as long as we win, all we have to do is win. All we have to do is kill all five of these Pokemon right here. All of them. Which, I believe, yeah, the Snorlax is a lot slower than the Orion, so we would outspeed it with Yokozuna, so we could actually potentially kill it with Yokozuna as well. We preserve Yokozuna for that point in the matchup. Yokozuna can take any hit from Hydreigon, any one hit, I believe. Can we? Depending on what she's running. Say she's... Let's uh, put a Specs on her. On her thing. Draco Meteor. Uh, if she's Specs, I don't live it. If she's Scarfed, I would. Can I take just about any hit from this Gengar? I can take any hit from this Gengar. Ah! No, I can't. Never mind. Forget anything I just said. I cannot take a hit from this Gengar. Who can take a hit from this Gengar? I'll tell you who can take a hit from this Gengar. How much would Raikou do? How much would Raikou do with an extra sensory? 78 to 92%. How much would we take? Just life orb. A lot of damage to unnecessarily take. We are faster, so it'd be nice. We can do that. We can we can pull this switch. Even if she crits me with whatever move she'd go for, it's it's fine. And that all depends on if she's actually life orb. If she's scarf, then if she's scarf, how about how about if she's scarf? Let's see if she's scarf. If she's scarf, the max she can do to us is 55% max roll with a sludge wave. Which I don't. Which is it's it's dependable. I mean that's that's like su be super lucky on her part. But now we'll see what she is. If she specs this, could, if she specs this is gonna hurt a lot. But it's fine. The loxes. She goes for dazzling gleam. Okay, how much? All right, let's figure out. Let's figure out what kind of set she's running. So I did not see the life orb. So is she scarf? That did thirty three percent. Is she modest scarf? That could be Modest Scarf. That could be Modest Scarf. I could see Scarf. Alright, so that means she's definitely Scarfed. And in this scenario, I could see a number of things happening. Obviously, she now sees that I'm potentially... She, she, this would reveal that I'm scarfed, but at the same time, I don't really care so much about doing that. But I think I have to Volt Switch here, because after seeing how much damage that Dazzling Gleam did, to me, that, that how little damage that actually did, uh, she might... I, I think she might switch to keep her Gengar from taking unnecessary damage. So I am going to go for the Volt Switch. Because I figured maybe the Hydreigon would come in here, predicting like an extra sensory potentially. So getting this Volt Switch off will, will be helpful. And even if we, even if she stays in with this thing, we're gonna hit this Gengar for 51 to 60 percent. So all right, she's gonna switch. All right, she goes out into. All right, it's losing its Air Balloon. That's great. All right. So it's Air Balloon Rapidash. Let's find out what kind of Rapidash you are. That's about right for just a standard. Jolly, Rapidash. So that's about right. Alright, so what do we go out and do for Rapidash? I feel like there's no better person to go out and do right now than T-Pain. Because unless this thing's packing HP Ice, there's nothing... Actually, it doesn't matter because we have a Yachi Berry. So, Landorus... I'm actually, because a knockoff would kill from this range, actually a knockoff would not kill from this range because she has no item. Knockoff would not 
not kill from this range. Gotta be more careful with this kind of things. She had an arrow, so. So, I think... My best, my best play is to knock off, because there's no way she's staying in here, especially considering I could be scarfed as well. So I'm going to go ahead and knock off. I think that's my safer play. If something wants to switch in, predicting an Earthquake, either Hedragon or Gengar, it's going to lose its item. This thing's significantly less threatening now, because of the fact that it is no longer uh, air ballooned. So I can just... Uh, once I kill off... Or two levitators, I can fire off EQs. No one's business. See, she just goes for a poison jab. As I do go for the knockoff. She's actually flame body. That. Oh, that hurts. That. I, I mean, I got a max roll. Which is kind of cool. That fucking sucks, dude. Oh, man. Oh, I predicted her to be flash fire so hard. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that bothers me so much. Oh, what are the odds? What are the odds she's got flame body? Oh, fuck, man. Oh. <sighs> well, since I'm really not in... Since I'm really not trying to preserve differential, I'm just gonna click... I'm just gonna click knock off regardless. I have no reason not to. Maybe I can bluff the fact that I'm scarfed. She might think that I'm scarfed and then knock off and then go out into something else that she can like fire off an HP ice or something at me in it. And then I can get off the free whatever I want on her. That, that, I mean, I don't think it's gonna matter in the long run because honestly, looking at her team. Landers doesn't do all that much to anything besides this thing. So if Landers goes down in the next turn or so, I'm not going to be too terribly upset, necessarily. Make a compromise. I'll tell, I'll tell her my set when I'm dead. That's fair, right? When she kills my Landers, I'll tell her my set. So this is a scenario where I just click knockoff. I have no reason not to. Because if I can get a knockoff off on this thing, great, fantastic. If I can, if I get a knockoff on this thing, that'd be great. I do get a knockoff on this thing, so I can actually get faster than it. So it loses its life orb. So it's actually... How was I faster than you?
have less than that speed in this one. Knockoff did... 10%. Is she max HP? I can't figure out exactly what her set was. Oh wait, I was burned. Hold on, let me put burned on there. 10.1%. So she could just be like a standard. She could be just... Could she not be max HP? That would be even too low for not max HP. She has to have HP investment. She has HP investment for sure on her Hydreigon. Let me just calculate with max HP from now on. She has no speed investment. She has no speed investment whatsoever, and she's a life orb. So, that makes me feel a lot better about this match. Because that means I can just freely hit it with stuff. And things. Um... Right, say I go out into... Say she has Earth Power. No. I think my best bet's to go out into... We would actually... We have a chance to live. I, I, I need to go into this and then scout for what move she's going to go for. What? Hmm. Two. Two kills. Now, I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. Be done by eight. I'll be done by eight. That's all. I'll be done in the next. I should be done in the next 15 minutes max. This doesn't matter. Oh. Why are you bored? Well, there's a lot to talk about. Discussing my plays. Well, of course I'm going to be recording it. It's for my channel. Alright, so the reason I'm going for the... I love the nickname. Uh, 
The uh, reason I'm going for the Volt Switch is A, to scout if she has Earth Power. That's, that's step number one. Step number two is to get chip damage. Like, in all honesty, I'm probably gonna go into... I'll probably go into... Hariyama, and then probably click Fake Out. This, this way I can get, this way, by going for the Volt Switch, I get some momentum, and I get to scout out her moves. And I know she's not locked into anything, so we should be fine. We should be fine. I don't forget. I told her I'd tell her once it died. And he's dead. so intimidating staring down this fucking three-headed dragon I'm gonna fuck it up I'm gonna fuck it up good I can actually put this chair away now she's she's gone this blanket. back on my bed I didn't even make it to my bed I don't even care let's put this chair away there we go perfect 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 Yep, she's definitely got HP investment, because that's exactly what that entails. Now, how much does Earth Power do to Hariyama? If she's modest, nothing. Jack shit for damage. Now, if she moves for the Draco here, we'll power to her. But, I'm going into Hariyama. Surf. Even better. It's fine. Surf does nothing. Let's see Surf. C U R F. Surf. 19 to 23 to 22.8. That sounds about right. I'm just gonna click the fake out. Because it's damage. Fake out should do 12 to 15.
Alright, so the fake out is pretty apparent, but at the same time, I have no reason not to. Because if the Gengar comes in, I don't believe she can kill me. If she can, shit, oh well. But if she can't, then it's fine as well. The fake out is, is coming through because I want to get some more damage on this thing. Just a little more damage. Just a little more. Just a little tiny tad bit more. Just some chip damage so that I can pretty much guarantee a kill with uh, Raikou's uh, R Sphere. R Sphere does 45 to 53. Ugh. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna go out into Gudra. I'm gonna hard switch over to Gudra because I need to keep Hariyama healthy to take on the Snorlax. So pretty much any move that he, she can go for at this point won't do too much to Gudra. If she goes for Draco, that's the only thing that she can really hit Gudra with that's gonna hurt. She goes for the Surf, it's even better. Alright, now, do I have any reason not to drop a Draco right now? Is there literally any reason not to drop a Draco? What remains? I have no reason not to drop Draco. Do, do I have any reason? I mean, Focus Blast would kill, but that requires it hitting. I have no reason not to drop a Draco. I'm dropping Draco. I'm dropping the Draco immediately. Drop the Draco. Let's go. You've seen why I'm in here, and I'm sorry about that. Let's drop the Draco. Come on. Gudra, I need you to drop this Draco as hard as you fucking can. Oh, it shows after the modifiers. 504 special defense. That's disgusting. It's disgusting. Disgusting. That's like a regular chances base special defense or whatever. <laughs> but literally dropping a Draco provides me no negative effects whatsoever. And since I know this thing has Surf, since I know this thing has Surf, I can't switch Aggron in on it. And it could potentially have Earth Power as well. I'm not sure. But a Draco from this thing would do... Alright. Let's find out... What snor- What kind of Snorlax are you, Gab? Assault vest. No way. That did too much to be A at B. Although you could be A B. You max HP A B. No wait. That did too. It too too much to be A B. So are you? Has to be especially defensive in some aspect. Never seen a better time to go out into Gastrodon. Outrage! Out. Whoa. Okay. Gabby, that was... 
That was brilliant. Gabby, I will, I will tell you right now, that was pure, unadulterated brilliance. I will give you all the credit in the world, Gabby. That was fucking genius. I, I, I have to praise you. I am free to go for a... How much did that do? 31%. I'm gonna go for a skull. Try to burn this thing. But she got a crit. I am faster, so I can just click the cup. It is Lumber. I've, I've never even considered or thought that Outrage Snorlax was a thing. But actually, let me find out what kind of set you are right now. She's got Seed Bomb! <laughs> Gabby, you are pulling out everything right now. Oh man, Gabby! God damn! Calm down! Let's see. Outrage. 27 to 32%. Uh, that looks about right. Seed Bomb. Yeah, that looks about right. She's, ad she's definitely adamant max attack. I think, just for the simple fact that I don't need Gastrodon for anything right now, I need to just go for a Scald. If I can get a burn on this thing, that'd be great. Alright, now my Scald did 16.6%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Horror Sphere can kill from this range, so I'm gonna go for that play. Probably has Earthquake. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go for... Hello, Rachel. I'm gonna go to Yokozuna because... Hariyama. Alright, I think the best play to go for here is a fake out. See, my reasoning for wanting to go for... Adam, I'm in the middle of recording, can you not? We're all getting ready to go to Dairy Queen, so... That's why my door is getting pounded inward. She goes out into the Blastoise, so... Blastoise. Defensive. 
physically defensive, fake out, that's not it. Calm nature. With special defense. Looks about right. I'm gonna knock off. I not speed this thing, I know that much. But at least I can get a knockoff on it and uh, get its item off. I should live this. Don't burn me. Thank you. Expert belt. Okay. Now, at this point... Got into Gudra. Yeah. Yum. We're going. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Oh, I guess. I, I guess. Oh. Thunderbolt killed? Is she not spadef invested? Maybe she's max HP, max special attack. That's just way more damage than it should have. Maybe she is modest. She's modest! If she's just modest, max HP, max special attack, that's that fits the bill. How much did she do to Hariyama with the skull? Skull did... Yeah, no, that's about right. She's modest, max HP, max special attack. Alright, alright, that's fine. That makes my life, that made my life a little easier. So now she doesn't have a spinner left, so... Gengar. Alright, Gengar. I know, since I'm AV, I can live anything. Gengar. I'm gonna say that she is Scarfy Scarf. Most definitely Scarfy Scarf. Choice Scarfy Scarf. Modest Choice Scarfy Scarf. Dazzle me. The Dazzling Meme. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for an ice beam. That did 26%. That's about right. That's an gleam. Drop a Draco. Gengar's gone. can let this thing go down. I can click Focus Blast, and I miss. I can click, I can click and miss Focus Blast. That's totally okay. This is perfect, because I can go for Close Combat. And boom, it's gone. Yay. And all I gotta do... Is... What's my appropriate way of winning this? Hydragon. Saturn. 2p2. Modest nature. Oop. 
and I can actually just go for an Aura Sphere here, and then win the game with Hariyama. That's the plan. I'm gonna go for the Aura Sphere and win the game with Hariyama. That's the plan. Sacking things off, being able to sack things off and not have to worry about differential makes playing the game so much easier. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Fake out, let me double and triple check. Fake out does minimum of 12%. And with that, we are now number one in the league. Alright, there it is. We, the Hazel Tanupas, have now ended our season number one, six and three, with a the highest differential in the league. So that's fantastic, which means we get a bye week in the playoffs. We get we, we get the first round of the playoffs off. So that's great. So you won't see another uh you won't see another uh, MPBA video for like about a week or two, but next time you see the MPBA it'll be in the playoffs. But yeah, until then guys, I'm Pokey Primer, signing